Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you guys version 3 of my Shopify monitor. One of my popular projects that I've been working on throughout the past year. One of my first major projects, open source projects. And um, this is iteration 3, which is still under development and should be coming out hopefully by tomorrow um, of the time I'm uploading it. So usually I do these videos to kind of, um, kind of to look back at my own progress personally and see like where development has gone and what I've done in order to get this done. And um, over the past year, when I first made it, um, I've been able to um, break down with uh, certain issues that people have had and then come up with solutions. And with those solutions, um, just make things better. And um, over time, like um, the monitor was more catered to people that were more technically inclined but um, I'm kind of, I want to switch that around, and um, I think the main point of doing that is, um, my bad, I have Discord open, I'm going to close that, but um, the main point of me doing that is mainly to um, to make it easier for, for the major demographic of my users, which are mostly uh, sneakerheads and people who are into uh, getting these you know, coveted pieces of uh, fashion, and uh, and over the years, like I've helped hundreds, if not thousands, uh, not even, pretty much thousands of people um, get rare items through through this script, and uh, I kind of want to. My goal is to make it better, and uh, with the source code open, a lot of people have learned from uh, a lot of the stuff on my GitHub, and that's honestly awesome. I'm more than grateful that I've been able to inspire people to code in, in this community that I revolve myself around, which is uh, around fashion and sneakers, um, kind of just gain in some way. So that's one of the main points of why I actually have this open source. And um, to get into everything, this is a new version of the monitor, and I just, not everything's finished, but I want to show you what I've gotten done so far and what's to be done and possibly future plans. So the monitor is super easy to run. Um, you just do a simple npm install just like in the past and then you just run node server and uh, the config file literally has two fields um, your server port and I have minus 3000 as you see and then your mongodb um, your mongodb uh, address um, and when I release it I'm going to show you guys how to set up mongodb mongodb is just uh, an efficient database store storage uh, system and uh, I love it um, in the past, I was using NextDB with SQLite and other stuff, and it just wasn't cutting it. And MongoDB has just literally been the best um, best way to do it. So to get into everything, this is it. And um, here you have um, your home page, and um, pretty much uh, your home page uh, consists of uh, this. So you have your newly added products that have been found through the monitor. These are stuff I've had since January, but um, it's just stuff I've had in my database. And then um, your stores that are being monitored. And you can view all the stores you have here. And um, I know a lot of people had a lot of trouble with the config JSON files, adding things. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up now. So you can literally add a store. When you add it, I'm just going to add Dirtbag, which is one of my favorite brands, and uh, make an interval of a minute it's not really the best thing but just for development purposes and just to show you guys I'm just gonna do that so 60,000 milliseconds is equivalent to a minute and you can add proxies if you like and keywords you can add shoe shirt and uh, it'll only look for those specific keywords and newly added atoms so I don't need any of those I just need these two and then voila I just added it it's pretty simple and um, when I want to start my thing, I just go back to my home page, hit start, and then there. It's that easy to use it. It's literally that easy. And then it'll pick up new items when it's found. And um, if you have Discord or uh, Slack set up, then it'll send it to your Discord or your Slack. So I don't have that added just yet. I'm going to add that tonight. And I'm actually going to show you what I have so far. So here you can view everything. And I'm going to add that as you. I'm going to add products. I don't have that yet. And uh, the settings page is still kind of broken and still in the works, but I'm going to add that. And then logs to diagnose any issues that you have, if it be with proxies or connection issues, 
or um, whatever. Uh, so it makes it easy on people to see what's going on. So um, my to-do list right here, which is over here, I have keywords, which I actually did add, so I can cross that off. Settings, I gotta fix that up. I didn't show you guys it because it's literally a mess. Um, your ability to edit tasks, so um, you can edit it here. I gotta add that. I'm gonna add that tonight, of course. Discord and Slack, as I mentioned, um, it's there, but I gotta add it to the settings, so that kind of correlates with the settings. Products page, so you can search for products and things of that nature, if that's of your interest, to see what's going on on the monitor. So again, one of the cool things about this is you can kind of get more clarity of what's going on in the monitor rather than what the script shows you. And then you have a products page, which I also mentioned, and then logs. Um, so yeah, this is version three. And literally, um, I just want to say like thank you to everyone that's literally supported me throughout the past year to help me kind of make things like this and to make things um, possible. Um, I've got a lot of messages saying like I've literally made people's day and I've literally inspired them to even get on coding, so that's awesome. And um, that's cool. Hopefully this monitor should be a big improvement. Um, one of my big future plans is actually renaming this monitor into something else and adding other things besides Shopify. So adding brands like Supreme and, um, uh, and uh, other brands. And uh, also StockX to monitor StockX prices and certain things like that. So that would be awesome. I got a lot of people telling me I should add it and I'm definitely going to add that in the coming month so Supreme and StockX will definitely be in here um, definitely I'll take other suggestions into mind but um, that is Shopify Monitor V3 um, probably going to be renamed in the coming weeks or month and um, the future plans and everything and hopefully this video made your day or something so thanks for watching thanks for supporting and peace